28 RBKS Whitehawk by Jayco here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. You may notice a few things look a little different from last year's models. Um, it's kind of like when uh, you know your, your favorite soda brand redoes their packaging. You know, it's a brand new look with the same great taste. Only this one tastes a little better. Anyway, let's dig into this a little bit here. So things that we've come to expect on a Whitehawk are things that are above and beyond what's commonly found in a lightweight and this will not disappoint this will follow that trend and uh, let me jump right in here and show you what i mean so higher grade motors on things like power awnings and power tongue jacks you're going to see power awnings and tongue jacks on just about everything and i forgot to turn on the awning light shame on me so we're going to get to see that happen right here in living color flip a switch there you go and these are good quality uh, bright elements jayco's using a better quality light strip right here they have larger elements that provide more lumens meaning more light more illumination that's how light is measured you probably don't care anyway uh we are looking at uh again po uh, higher grade power awning hi higher grade power tongue jack um the baggage doors here you see are a lot larger and easier to get into they have uh pre-prepped this for a little mini fridge if you want now, um, you can add a mini fridge to every single Whitehawk because this particular model has an outside kitchen. It already includes one at the back of the trailer. So really, you just have a handy little utility plug up here that you could use for just about anything. And I have the perfect idea for that. Uh, you can, uh, if you put your little picnic table right here, you have a little plug right there for an electric griddle outside your camper, bacon and eggs in the morning or pancakes and sausage or whatever works for you guys. All I know is right now I'm getting hungry because that sounds great. The uh, front nose cap you see on here, that is an option you can add to a White Hawk. So you might see that on some White Hawks. You might see it not on some White Hawks. It's not going to be on every single one of those. My guess is we're probably going to put it on uh, anything with a full super slide, but that's a guess. You know, time will tell. So I guess what I'm getting at is not every one of our White Hawks is going to be equipped the same. We might have another 28B or RBKS in this video are in uh, stock that is not the same as this video. Always check our MSRP sheets and we do make our photos match our units. Um, big front diamond plate is something a lot of manufacturers have dropped off. Now, I, it might look a little strange to some people to have a three quarter cap and diamond plate, but it's for longevity of the trailer. A full nose cap leaves you nowhere for stone deflection and you'll start to chip that cap up over time, if, especially if you live on a dirt road or if you go camping on a campground with a dirt road. Um, we talked about a higher grade power tongue jack and they are they work better they last longer you're going to see 30 pound propane tanks here on a white hawk that is uh, to give you 50 percent more propane capacity so you just don't have to worry about fills near as often um, you will see white hawks now prep for a solar suitcase that's what goes in this little plug right here it's a little suitcase sized solar panel that you flip out park next to the tongue and plug in and it's designed to keep your battery topped off so great for storage and things like that um, they move the propane tanks to the front of the tongue and the battery to the back so you have room for two batteries now if you want to it's just an easy switch and you can see the kind of difference that makes i love the new cosmetics it's just really really sharp looking what i like about it is it's not the cream color that everything is today um the other thing i like about it, it's it has that callback to a classic white skin trailer but with some very modern edgy styling i really really like that now here is another option that we've added uh, you can add a little two foot by four foot outdoor table and they really have that strapped down and What's nice is it has its own self storing location right here. So it's not eating up your baggage space I've seen uh, at least one other manufacturer in lightweight class Which we actually carry here at Halitz include this table probably the exact same table from the same supplier Jayco's is a lot easier to store the other manufacturer. They let you strap it to the underside of this which is nice but you got to kind of juggle it to make it happen now to give you an idea how big this pass-through storage is that is the outdoor gas bumper mount grill in the box and that is the bar uh, that the grill hooks onto. and you can see that they're dwarfed by the size of this thing back here by the way this two slide lightweight trailer uh, only 6,500 pounds very very lightweight very easily towable while we're down here I want to point out a couple critical differences here first of all we've added the glacier package that's the enclosed underbelly with extra insulation so it's more than just an enclosed belly but secondly the frame here looks a little different from a lot of trailers this is a um h s l a high strength low alloy steel frame put together very similar to like an aircraft frame it's huck bolted together 
What that means in English is that this is a thinner, lighter, stronger frame. It is absolutely awesome. It is also a more expensive frame, but it's one of the things that helps this thing carry greater longevity uh, while keeping reduced weight. And that's the whole thing with a lightweight. I can get you this floor plan for less money in a conventionally built camper, meaning, um, you know, aluminum skin. You probably can't see that when it's way over there. But aluminum skin and wood frame conventional builds will save you money on the same floor plan. They won't save you weight. That's what you get with an ultralight. You're getting the most square foot per pound of trailer. Um, you see that we've added the rear ladder back here because that is an option because this does have a truly full walk-on roof. This has a plywood, tongue and groove plywood deck roof uh, with some seriously heavy-duty roof trusses. This has basically the exact same roof structure as Jayco's big fifth wheels, just in a smaller, lighter weight travel trailer. There's an air, there, there are areas where you can afford to, um, you know, use different materials or thinner materials without sacrificing structure. Roof is not one of those. Um, they will use a heavy duty roof. Now, like I said, if you add a bumper mount grill, it's gonna hook on right here so that it swings around and faces your little outdoor kitchenette right here. Uh, now, Jayco's also still including, no matter what, the little slide out stove top here. So you have a stove top as well as a grill if you add the grill, which we're pretty much gonna do most of the time here. Even outside here, we do have LED lighting. And I don't know if you spotted it, but there is a power outlet right here, so you can put devices in this section. This is the perfect size right here. They measured this to make sure you could add a microwave aftermarket if you wanted to, or a coffee maker, or pretty much whatever you want. Um, a little mini fridge to keep drinks outside. Like I said, every White Hawk has the opportunity for mini fridge. Models with an outdoor kitchen are going to include a mini fridge no matter what. Uh, we have a gas and electric auto ignition water heater that recharges up to 18 gallons of hot water per hour if you run gas and electric at the same time. Pretty much means you get a lot more hot showers without going dry. We have wide stance stability axles. These axles are set nine extra inches apart. The whole idea here, if your feet are close together and someone pushes you, you're going to fall. Well, if your feet are far apart and someone pushes you, you have stability. So. That's the whole point. When you're going down the road, the trailer's less likely to do this behind you. You're gonna, it's gonna really drastically cut it down. Outdoor entertainment center here. This little TV bracket, you can actually mount the TV right on it, and then the bracket itself hooks right on out here. So you have a full outdoor entertainment center complete with some nice marine speakers. And it's the stupid little stuff you gotta look for, guys. This is the stuff that, that uh, you know, generates enjoyment and, and quality over time. Just the fact that like your stove has a outdoor vent so that it's exhausting heat that's not something a lot of lightweights have that is a feature that not everybody is doing um let's step inside here for you i like the bigger handle too that's not uncommon but again i point out oh yeah i forgot this is why i, I do these videos um you can't see it but this door let me throw it it did not slap the side of the trailer even if you heave the thing because this has a friction sprung door you see how I just slapped it and the door did not shut. Um, that's because this has a friction sprung door. What's nice, you, you don't have a hold back here. You can keep this thing all the way open. Now what that means is this sharp little corner is not sticking out where it's going to catch your thigh or maybe catch a grandkid's cheek or shoulder. I don't even want to think about that because that's not fun. Um, another thing to talk about. White Hawk's door is wider than a common lightweight. This is two inches wider on the door and you know I, I got so worked up over this being a new Whitehawk, I forgot to mention the most critical thing Jayco's done for years, and that's have double the warranty of pretty much anybody else in this category, you know? it, it uh, They're just doing a great job. On your uh, Whitehawks, we do have frameless windows here. It keeps the seal under the window pane, and notice that you can't see inside this thing. That That's because this has a UV tinted window. That means that you have privacy when you're inside, but you can still see outside and get light. They have done some uh, drastic interior decor changes, just like the exterior. But real quick, I want to point out, you have your little centralized control center here. And did you see how that brightens right up? This has a one button, full living room light bank. So you push a single button and boom, all of these LED lights come right on here. And these are all LEDs so that you're not going to have to worry about replacing incandescent bulbs constantly. Um, central air in lightweight trailers is not uh, necessarily standard, but on a model with a super slide, probably more common than not. Um, the lighter leatherette material that we're looking at here is called Twilight. That's the decor that we're looking at. Um, the darker is shadow, and then there's a nice brown cloth called coffee. 
we will probably carry one of all of these at some point. So if the unit we have in stock, if the pictures look different, the pictures are probably up to date. Um, big barreled ceiling here. Uh, we started at 78 inches tall, barrel up to 83, so just, just under seven foot tall at the apex. It's gonna leave you lots of extra headroom and space. We did add the kitchen skylight here. That's another one of those things that you can add on. And it's going to let in a lot of light here. It is marbled so that you're not getting a direct beam from the sun. But if you need to cut it down, like if you got a migraine day or something like that, you can do so. Leave that about half open. I like the little wooden battens, batten strips here. They just, they really tie it all together and help you understand that it does have that big cathedral ceiling. We also have big windows here so we can get some good airflow. Um, you see that we have doors on the dinette chairs so that we can get easy access to all the storage down here. Uh, Jayco, when they are using carpeting, which uh, you're seeing less and less of because it's easier to clean when there's no carpet, um, they are using shawl carpeting. So that's a name you can, I mean, you've probably put shawl carpeting in your house. There's a good chance. Very, very popular stuff, good quality stuff that's more stain resistant. So, you know, if somebody does spill that uh, glass of red Kool-Aid, there's a little better chance you can get that cleaned up here. With the Glacier package, they are adding excellent extra insulation to the slides on the roof. Those are areas most lightweights have basically no good insulation. While I'm standing right here, I do want to point out this island area here is pure storage. The entire thing opens up for storage, and they even left you a nice little spot here for a trash can, which is highly unusual. Um, while we're looking at the kitchen, let's just expand on that. So here we have a kitchen slide. This is the second slide on the trailer. And this is what's really opening this thing up to make it feel so big and airy and, and comfy in here. I've seen some people say, yeah, but doesn't that take away from your awning? Yeah, it kind of does. But what you're going to do is you're actually going to slide your picnic table like right next to or under that slide. And that's where you'll put your picnic table and you really don't lose any space as a result. So you're not really giving anything up. Um, Standard Whitehawk has an 8 cubic foot refrigerator freezer instead of a 6. In English, you can keep 33% more stuff in this fridge. Um, the uh, entire slide here, you have your fridge, microwave, uh, oven, and stove. Your three big appliances, they're pushed off the floor plan. So what that means is that when someone's standing here cooking, you have a natural flow in the trailer to work around them so you're not doing the travel trailer shuffle and belly bumping one another. Um, storage in this floor plan is king. Uh, this is, I've seen a lot of rear uh, mega bath travel trailers, and this is by far the best executed I have seen. Uh, they are just putting more storage than you can shake a stick at. That's an old cliched phrase, but there is a lot of storage in here. This is an ideal couple's camper that you can leave packed to the gills. Now, on top of what we just saw, there's yet another giant pantry or linen cabinet or whatever you need over here with an extra little section down here as well. So already in just the kitchen and bathroom, we're looking at more cubic foot of storage space than a lot of rear bathroom travel trailers have, period. And we haven't even scratched the surface. Come back here into the actual bathroom, and you have the largest closet you're ever going to find in a bathroom. I actually have to stand in the shower to show you all of this. Uh, now what's cool is down here, under these drawers, that's the outdoor kitchen. So we get some extra drawers in here, as well as this giant closet, utility closet up here, that is, I don't know, what, about two and a half feet deep? It goes way up to my shoulder. That is big. Um, let me close this so we can see the rest of the bathroom here. Real quick, I do want to point out full plywood drawer construction so that nothing's falling apart on us. Everything is designed to hold up over time. And you see that we have full extension glide so you can reach the back of the drawer too. Um, stool here is porcelain, so we do have a nicer stool. And I do want to demonstrate that even for tall guys like me, there's plenty of room for your legs here. I have to, I'm 6'3", my feet are just touching the shower when I fully extend them here. Um, Extra countertop space, and you'll see power outlets hidden in little spots like that. It's easy to miss because it's a black-on-black -black sort of scenario. Um, they they went away from the white countertops from last year's models. I don't know. I like the white countertops. They brightened it up in here, but this has just a really nice earthen look to it. It's very down-to-earth. I like that a lot. Now, we also have a giant 50-inch walk-in shower over here. Um... You know, it's a shower fit for two. Holy cow, this thing's huge. Now, just like in the living room, you have a, a one bank light switch here in the bathroom as well. 
and you're getting double the lights here in this Jayco bathroom that you typically find. Um, again, I'm a tall guy. You're going to find that I've got plenty of headroom in here uh, because of this arched cathedral ceiling. Pardon me, ceiling. I've been doing a lot of these videos. My voice is starting to betray me a little bit. So from the bathroom facing forward, here's what we're looking at. Big, wide open, comfortable living room. Remember I mentioned there are extra power outlets hidden here and there. I like them right on the island. There's outlets like this on both sides of the island. Perfect spot to just set your phone there and charge. Blender, uh, you know, extra little things like that. Um, this is a full hide-to-bed sofa. That folds out into about a queen bed. And it's a memory foam sleeper sofa. It's not something that is going to be hard to set up it's not heavy it's not awkward and it doesn't deflate overnight this thing actually just performs really really well um moving forward here in our entertainment center i like to point out all the storage space all the way around you've got dvd storage out the wazoo in this thing uh we've got a full complement of furion electronics furion tv furion all-in-one dvd cd bluetooth stereo um Basically, Furion is one of the higher grades of electronics you're going to find in the marine or RV industry. They're designed to be shaken harder because going down the road, this thing is shaken constantly. So this thing has to be, this is not the TV you put in your house. It's better. This is better quality than the TV you put in your house. Components are built better to last longer. It can get hotter, colder, shaken harder before they fail. Same with the stereo, same with the speakers outside. Um, it is true high def. And they are actually running a high def cable down here, so you can get, even though uh, RVs for years have had high def capable televisions, they didn't give you a high def cable. So you weren't actually getting all the feature of your television. That's not true in a Jayco. You see that they do finish off the backside of their spinning television with a mirror. I really, really like that because it, um, you know, in the, in the bedroom, you're going to get more light spread around and if you flip it around to the living room it just is going to make your living room look even bigger uh, it's the dumb things that make the big difference and that's why i love seeing a shoe garage it's the smallest little thing but if you don't have it your shoes are going to end up in this big pile by the door and it's not if but when you'll trip on them eventually and it's kind of like if a cat swirls around your legs at the top of the stairs i hope you don't fall grandpas grandmas moms and dads everyone recognizes the timeout chair and uh, not only is it a good spot to keep Junior uh, Coleman down here, but it is a good little, another shoe box or toy box or just general storage period. And I love that they give you a coat rack right when you walk in the door. That's classy. Um, a lot of trailers have sliding privacy doors. And I mean, the best thing I can say is that the, the, the actual slider mechanic on this is so much smoother and better and more reliable than a lot of brands I've seen. The way that they've changed around their under bed storage here is pretty cool. I'm going to kick on another light. There we go. So you see that we've got this little uh, slide out tray system right here. You can get to it when the bed is up. You can get to it when the bed is down. It's just easier access to a storage space that most people had but rarely used because it was awkward. But you do still have a deep storage space here for extra linens and blankets and stuff like that. Uh, we're still looking at Denver pillow top mattresses here. Anywhere you sleep in a Jayco, they are spending more money to give you a higher uh, quality sleep. Um, I need to pull up my tape measure, and don't quote me on this, but that's looking like a full 80-inch bed instead of a 74. Uh, I'm going to have to double-check that, though. I never make, I won't make a promise I can't keep. That's just a thing with me. Big bedside stand over here with not only power outlets, but USB plugs as well, so you can charge anything. Now, this wardrobe over here is extra large. Because they left you the room under here for that mini fridge, they shifted things over just slightly. But I do want to point out, it's not like you lost your walk around bed space over here. And you do still have a power outlet and bed stand over here. So you're not giving anything up, you're just getting bonus space. Oh, I just spotted something I've never seen before. The back side of this has an extra little pocket back there, perfect for phones and stuff. That is cool. Did notice that my first time through here. There's updates here I wasn't aware of. Um, well, there you go. I mean, there's <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff here going on. Even a person who does this every day is still missing all the nice little touches and updates going on here. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everybody. Have some fun.